as you know this channel is about safety training safety awareness and safety education and i'm conducting training sessions on different topics the aim or the objective of this channel is to keep the workforce safe from construction and industrial hazards and this is only possible when you will follow the safety rules few of my colleagues requested for a complete training session that should be about the basic safety rules what is the meaning of working safely in the most simplest way working safely means completing every task in the correct way not taking any hazardous shortcut paying attention to the task at hand asking for instruction when completing or when assigned on an unfamiliar task or activity wearing the required ppe personal protective equipment in a correct way and do you know what are the core elements of a successful safety program number 1 is safety culture number 2 employee training and empowerment number 3 hazard identification and control systems number 4 focus on compliance either this is the matter of risk assessment method of statement construction safety management plan local regulations are something about the international legislation codes of practices are recommendations by international labor organization you have to focus on compliance at all levels and the last element is the measurement and monitoring of continuous improvement in this training session i will highlight 36 3 dozen basic safety rules so without wasting time let's get started rule number 1 that is about a reporting of incidents immediately report all work related injuries illnesses or vehicle collisions no matter how slight how small to your supervisor a site in charge rule number 2 immediately report all fires spills and releases no matter how small to your supervisor and site in charge rule number 3 that is also about reporting of incidents immediately report any unsafe condition unsafe practice or act near miss or incident to your supervisor and site in charge rule number 4 that is about how to follow safe work practices operators of vehicles shall comply with all traffic requirements particularly speed limits most of the time accidents occur just because of our speeding rule number 5 all persons in vehicles shall wear seat belts at all times rule number 6 when ascending or descending stairways use the handrail and take only one step at a time rule number 7 erect barricades flagging around hazardous work areas such as manholes holes in decking and floor surfaces deep trenches road crossings and overhead hazardous work rule number 8 use only proper tools and equipment maintained in a safe working condition 
remember homemade tools are not allowed it is strictly prohibited on the work site rule number nine maintain good housekeeping in your work area at all times rule number 10 smoking is permitted in designated smoking areas only matches and lighters are prohibited in restricted areas rule number 11 eating or resting is permitted in designated areas only rule number 12 Use proper manual lifting techniques or obtain assistance or mechanical lifting aids when lifting heavy loads. Dear friends and fellows, you are on the platform of Safety First Life. If you are first time on this channel, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications. And if you find the video informative, then share it with your friends and colleagues today i'm talking about 36 basic safety rules rule number 30 all operating machinery and electrical switch gear shall have all safety guards switches and alarms in place and they must be functional not out of order Rule number 14, whenever a safety device is removed from service and are defeated, the appropriate supervisor and affected parties shall be notified, the device tagged and the action properly documented. Furthermore, such equipment a machine shall not be used on the work site. Rule number 15, all block walls on pressure relief systems in service shall be chain locked or car sealed open. Rule number 16. All fire extinguishers and other emergency equipment shall be in good condition, inspected regularly and kept clear of any obstruction. Rule number 17. All chemical or hazardous material containers shall be properly labeled and stored. Drums shall be stored in secondary containment areas or on drum containment pallets. Rule number 18. Use, adjust and repair equipment and plants only when you are authorized to do so. Safety rule number 19. Climbing or standing on equipment, piping, valves, are unstable surfaces for example chair or barrels to perform work is strictly prohibited not allowed in any case at any work site rule number 20 approved fall protection measures for example safety harnesses a scaffolding shall be used if the working height is greater than 1.8 meter means six feet from floor or platform level rule number 21 running in work areas is prohibited except during emergencies rule number 22 finger rings rush watches jewelry loose clothing unsecured long air and other loose accessories shall not be worn within an arm's reach of rotating equipment or electrical switch gear Rule number 23, don't apply compressed air or other gases to yourself or others. Rule number 24, operating equipment, having a danger tag, don't operate, is prohibited. Rule number 25, no work shall be started in any area or on any equipment without consent of the person in charge. Rule number 26, non-approved electrical or electronic devices, for example, cellular phones and other similar instruments shall not be used in classified areas unless properly permitted. Rule number 27, cosplay, a fighting 
on company premises is strictly prohibited. Rule number 28. Approved hard hats without defects shall be worn in designated areas. Metallic hard hats are prohibited. Rule number 29. Approved safety footwear shall be worn in field operations, process areas and other designated areas. Rule number 30. Approved safety eyewear with side protection shall be worn where designated. Dear friends and fellows, you are on the platform of safety first life and today we are talking about 36 basic safety rules. Rule number 31 approved additional hazard specific eye a face protection for example goggles and our face shield shall be worn where foreign objects may injure the eye a face maybe just because of grinding welding drilling or scrapping work rule number 32 approved hearing protection shall be worn in high noise areas if the noise level is 85 or greater than 85 dBA. Rule number 33. Comply with all safety signs and signals posted on the project site. If you are interested to know about the types of signs and signals, please click on the link that is appearing on your screen. Rule number 34. Proper personal protective equipment, PPE, prescribed by the Chemical Hazard Bulletin, CHB, a safety data sheet, SDS, shall be worn when handling chemicals or hazardous materials at site. If you are interested to learn about the selection and proper usage of personal protective equipment, then kindly click on the link that is appearing on your screen. Rule number 35, proper hand protection shall be worn when performing tasks that may present a hand injury risk. The last one, rule number 36, that is about emergency evacuation. You know very well, once there is a work site, maybe at some level, at some stage, there might be an emergency situation. So, the evacuation of the building or site may be required if an emergency situation threatens the life or safety of employees. Those situations may require evacuation on immediate basis. Emergency situations that may require evacuation. There may be a fire, a smoke, chemical spillage, bomb threat, violence, power failure or a terrorist attack. All these are the emergency scenarios. If there is any situation as mentioned above, you have to proceed to the nearest exit. Don't stop to pick up your personal belongings. Report immediately to the emergency coordinator on assembly point and participate in head counting a body check. If your body is missing, it means his life is in danger and it is the responsibility of the emergency coordinator to take action and to evacuate the people, those are trapped in the site or in the building. Dear friends and colleagues, these 36 basic safety rules for everybody, these are applicable for an ordinary labor foreman, supervisor, safety practitioner, site engineer, project manager or the managing director of the company. Only the drafting of safety rules is not a big deal, but the implementation, compliance and the measurement of continual improvement is the only way to keep your workers and the project safe and productive. Unfortunately, in most of the organizations, senior management or even the middle management 
they feel they act and behave in a way that they are exempted from such safety rules and regulations they believe the safety rules and regulations are only for the workers and that is the big mistake this is the only thing that promotes negative safety culture disregard for safety management and disrespect for safety practitioners and that's all for today training session related to basic safety rules is over now if you have any question please ask in the comment section thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and share the video hope to see you soon with a new hsc tutorial till then take care good luck and allah hafiz